And let's thank God for Dutch Sheets who's called to bring this nation into revival and awakening. Thank you. You can be seated, thanks. We're going to tag team, and I'll tell you what. No break. If you absolutely have to run to the restroom, do it quickly, but the best part of my message is the first five minutes. I'm just saying. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I am, uh, we have to, we have to leave and we must be on the road by 1115 to the airport. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, the original, Chuck has to get back for services. And, uh, the original plan for me was to try to get home in time to take my wife to dinner this evening. It's her birthday. And, um, Tell her happy birthday. Okay, I'll tell her happy birthday from California. How's that? But when we moved from Colorado to South Carolina, even though I'm still rushing out on the flight to Dallas, I will not get home in time to do that. I will get home at midnight. And uh, she's um, celebrating with the with our daughters and family. And Yeah. So I'm not... Uh, trying to tell you how wonderful I am to be here on her birthday. I'm trying to tell you why we're rushing out of here because the plan was to try to get home when, cause I just, you know, when I lived in Colorado, I was going to be able to get home in time to do it. So that's uh, <clears throat> not going to happen. Now I may need this stool because I have two pinched nerves in my lower back and I had some breakthrough for a season. And um, then when we moved, I picked up too many boxes and I guess the progress I had made was uh, interrupted and uh, the more I sit and travel the worse it gets so it's flared up right now and the pain goes down my sciatic nerve and uh, if you've never experienced that there's really no way to describe it it feels like for me someone has a dagger in my Gluteus Maximus. (laughs) So I may sit on this stool a little bit today while I teach you or lean on the podium here to keep from uh, tensing up that muscle that grabs it. And what a great place to be to get healed. Amen. I'm trusting the Lord for a complete healing, a recreation of my discs. And uh, sometimes I limp through the airports and Yesterday, I had to get a wheelchair to get me from the gate. It was hurting so badly, but I'm saying all that just to say to you, I'm here. And he ain't going to stop me. Nor is my back that I've abused, but I'm going to get healed anyway. All right. What a great word. And, you know, he usually doesn't do all this personal stuff and prophesying to people and churches. Chuck usually stays really focused on the whole region and the nation. Obviously, he's doing that here because God is doing something here that is for more than this place. It is for this region and nation. And so the words are powerful and very significant <clears throat> there are there there's a passage that, that there's a word in hebrew that the lord has emphasized for me and it's a word used in three familiar verses having to do with decrees he said in numbers 23:19 god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken it and will he not make it good? When he said, has he said it and will he not do it? The word do is asa, A-S-A-H. It's a strong word in Hebrew that means to 
perform, do, accomplish, but it also means to create. His words create. When he speaks, power is released to bring forth something, sometimes out of nothing. To shift, will you bind and loose as you say it? You don't bind. That's the way we bind and loose. That's the way we forbid and allow. He tells us what he wants here and through prophetic inspiration, and we say what he says. The, the New Testament word for confession is homologia, lagos, words. And then you say them, and the word literally means say the same thing. When you are, you don't, the error that came in confession was believing that we, whatever we, we could say anything we wanted, God had to do it. Or God would back it up. But that's not biblical confession. Biblical confession is to say what he says. That's what the word means. Say the same thing. So when you say what he says, then power is released from you. And God says, I'll create with those words. When you sing and you begin to sing prophetically over the region, God says, I'll create with those words. Because you'll decree a thing and it's established. Now, but, but, but did he begin to say to me these passages? I want, you to, I want to keep reading. He says, has he said it? Will he, will he not assaw with it? Has he spoken it? Will he not make it good? And then the prophet goes on to say, I have received a command to bless. And we don't, I don't know, we've missed this so long. God said, I'm going to do this, and my words are going to do this, 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 this. And then he said, now, they're, I'm going to do this through the words of my prophet. They were just words coming out of the heavens. The prophet said, I've given a command. I've been given a command to bless. And when I bless with my mouth, God says, I create with that. Jeremiah 1, 12. Jeremiah is being called to his prophetic ministry. God says to him, chapter one, I've touched your mouth and I've put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words that create and perform and accomplish things. I have put my words in your mouth. Let me give you another verse in the New Testament. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. When the angel came to Mary and said, you're going to have a child. She said, how can this be? I'm a virgin. She said, the Holy Spirit's going to overshadow you and put the seed of God inside of you. And then he says, for God, nothing shall be impossible. That's not the best translation of that verse. The literal translation of that verse is for no word spoken by God is without power. You cannot get more literal in a translation than, the, than that. No word spoken by God is without power. Whether, whether he says it through an angel, whether he says it through a prophet, whether he says it with you, through you, no word spoken by God is without power. So he says to Jeremiah, he touches his mouth, says, I'm going to talk through you. I'm going to say things to the nation through you, Jeremiah. And then in verse 12, he says... I am watching. You've seen well, Jeremiah, because I'm watching over my word to Asa with it. I'm going to put my words in your mouth, Jeremiah, and I'm watching over those words to create Asa. Did you know that's what Jesus said on the cross when he said it's finished? He may have been speaking Hebrew, Asa. He may have been speaking Greek to Telestai. To Telestai means finished. It means accomplish. It bring, means bring something to the, the intended goal. It's only one, one word, which, whether he said Hebrew or Greek. Jesus did not bow his head like you've seen in the movies and go, it is finished. He cried with a loud voice. And he said either Asa. He cried with a loud voice and the earth quaked when he said it. Or he said, to Telestai. And the word to Telestai not only means perform, accomplish, it's what they stamped on the invoices in the marketplace of the day, meaning paid in full. He was saying the debt is paid in full. But he may have been speaking Hebrew because he was quoting from Psalm 22, 31, the last word of that psalm, which is all about his sufferings on the cross. The last word is Asa. 
I have accomplished it. Or he may have been saying, new creation, come forth. Because I saw means to create. And Jeremiah is Jeremiah's told, I'm going to watch over your, your, my words that I give to you. You're going to speak my words and I'm going to perform or accomplish with them. That's how I'm going to tear down. That's how I'm going to pluck up. That's how I'm going to overthrow. You're going to speak for me into the atmosphere of the nation and it's going to do something. It's going to do more than make you feel good in a room full of people. When you sing it, it's going to go out through the atmosphere into the nation and cause some something to topple and fall and something else to rise up. That's a good word. 